welcome to Get Crooked. Come on inside. Hi, I'm Megan, but you can call me Queen. <laughs> Get Crooked is my festival fashion love child. That's kind of <laughs> I started as a knitwear designer. So I was doing hand knits and then machine knits. And I was in my early 20s. So this is like back before knitting became cool. I was like dressing like a bit sexy and everyone was telling me you should do festivals. And then I started doing festivals and realized quickly knitwear isn't really suitable for and you can't make it economically for the festival market and I started teaching myself to make garments um, and then over the years it's just sort of snowballed into what it is today. We run uh, an eco-friendly studio um, we make to measure, make to order, so it reduces our waste. And then we also repurpose all of our offcuts as well. I, I mean, I love Get Crooked and the color and the vibrancy and that, that, that feel good vibes of like festivals and everything. But I really love doing the machine embroidery. I see it as painting with textiles. So each strand is like a brush stroke. So this is um, the back of a jacket that's been prepped. All of these I, I place as if I'm painting and then I pin them in place and then stitch them to make one stable fabric. And that for me is just so lovely because it does feel like I'm making art to wear. <laughs> I mean, I love color, color is life. I think color for me, like color therapy is such a real thing. I'm from America and I moved here when I was 20, um, I and shortly became a single mom. Like I had my son at 19, right out of high school with a British guy, um, and then moved over here, and then shit kind of hit the fan. Because I was a young single mom, I needed to work from home. I, w I mean, I'd been working and living from home for, obviously living from home, but working from home for about 12 years. And then my landlord said, uh, I'd like my house back, please. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. And to be honest with you, I just needed, I, I could, didn't want to live my business anymore. It was, it was being smothered by rainbows, <laughs> which sounds great in theory, <laughs> but not in practice. Um, it was just a little bit too much for me. Um, it was really having an effect on my mental health. I saw that as an opportunity to work and live separately but I just got caught in this vicious cycle of like what can I afford I can't afford to separate the two but I had no choice I found this studio and I just really just fell in love with it it was a while ago now but I was trying to think about my love of rainbows and where that comes from like you know and then I was thinking about how rainbows are made and you know, it's, it's the sun shining through the rain, it's shining through the storm, and how people can be like that too, you know? We shine through all of the shit that life throws at us, and that's when the magic happens, you know? That's, that's where the rainbows come from.